This is News 8 Morning Extra. Yeah, and a lot of those parents in the Powell Unified School District have been waiting to get those kids back because uh, trying to juggle the Zooms and the classes and the <laughs> oh, yeah. links and the assignments and everything has been a little difficult. So some good news for those folks that did want to get the kids back in mm -hmm. class here. So good morning to you. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Yes, we're going to get a quick check of your forecast as well this morning, keeping an eye on the Valley Fire conditions. And it's cooler out there this morning. It's a little dry, but at least the winds are calm and cooperating. Lions Peak camera showing, though, another day of that smoky haze. And you can also see this would normally be our view of that uh, gorgeous sunrise that we typically see, but no, not so much the case today. So it looks like it's overcast out there. Those are not clouds. Unfortunately, there uh, is plenty of smoke in the skies, and that'll last through the weekend. But here in San Diego, we are sitting pretty when it comes to our ground level air quality. It's going to remain moderate today, but it's a lot better than what they're dealing with just to the north of us in LA County, up in the Bay Area, of course, as well. Now, cooler near the coastline because of a marine layer through the weekend, and then we will warm up next week, especially inland areas. Look at this, even for today, low 90s for Ramona, El Cajon, Alpine. It will stay in the upper 70s for our beaches today. So an onshore, offshore kind of battle there. You'll stay cool at the coast. Here's a look at the traffic. What's going on on this Friday morning? Well, we're going to zoom into this spot right there on I-8. The entry ramp partially blocked because of a stalled vehicle. That's I-8 westbound at Morena Boulevard. So, of course, that's a pretty popular route for a lot of folks in their morning commute. Something to keep in mind at Morena. I-15 southbound. There's an obstruction in the center divide still that's been there uh, for about 30 minutes right under the bridge there for the 78 and a down power line east live oak park road and south ridge road so this you may see a little smoke right off of the 15 near fallbrook on the way to rainbow and if you uh we are going to keep an eye on that and find out what's going on there but again a down power line causing a little smoke out in the skies and then of course we're talking about the valley fire several road closures in those areas you're going to want to stay away and keep room for those fire crews eric Let's get to that fire right now. The firefighters continuing to make progress on the Valley Fire in the East County. They're working nonstop really to get it under control. The fire is holding at more than 17,600 acres. It is 35% contained at this point. News 8's Evan Narani is live at Base Camp in Alpine with an update for us. And Evan, they've done a great job making more of those containment lines around the fire. Uh, good morning, everybody. Yeah, Eric, Alpine that's exactly Park right. There is a briefing going on right now at 7 o'clock for all the firefighters here on the scene. I want to give you a little bit of a listen of what's going on here. Take a listen. That west side is looking really good. Um, this type of fuel type, the grass and the brush, once it gets cut out, it doesn't really uh, hold heat for very long. So good job with the crews getting into the bit mic in those areas by Loveland that's kind of been holding in the retardant. That we really just needed to get some boots on the ground and cut out the hot areas. That's going to continue to be the case on the east side of the fire, that more remote uh, terrain. Crews are working their way in there, but especially with the afternoon westerly winds, that's going to continue to pose a little bit of threat on that east side until we actually get crews with boots on the ground and able to check it either cold trail or, or cut out. There is, uh, those of you who are familiar with the FTP site, there was a NIROPS light last night, and that's there under IR. Very few pieces of heat uh, showing. I picked that with the grain grand of salt. So again, those fire officials right now giving that briefing to uh, more than 800 personnel who are currently assigned to the Valley Fire. Uh, mainly good news as fire crews prepare for day seven of fighting this fire. And these latest conferences, what we've been seeing is minimal fire growth of uh, the total acreage. You've also been hearing that containment levels have been going up. So of course, good news in the process. It is of course 9-11 as well. And so for September 11th, they are expected to have a moment of silence. Uh, there is currently a ladder up with an American flag as well. Uh, so, of course, we're here at uh, what's a 7 a.m. briefing before some of these fire uh, fighters head out for their fight for the day. Some neighborhoods, of course, still under evacuation uh, orders, others under evacuation warnings. Uh, but uh, from here at 7 a.m., we're just kind of waiting uh, for that moment of silence that's to come. And, uh, of course, we'll keep you updated from the scene. I'll send things back to you for now. Division Golf, Billy Tomasello. Branch 2, Ron Laff. Alphas, Nick Nava. All right, Evan, yeah, we'll dip back into that if that should happen uh, here soon because it's uh, obviously going to be a great way to, for us to commemorate 9-11 here with a moment of silence. Uh, meanwhile, crews working overnight to finish putting out this brush fire. It took place in Santee. This fire started yesterday afternoon in a riverbed off Carlton Hills Boulevard near Mast Park. Just a couple hundred feet from homes, as you saw there, it burned about five acres. The cause is still under investigation. 
Let's get you caught up in the latest coronavirus numbers. County officials now reporting 284 new cases and four more deaths, and that brings us to a total of 725 deaths countywide. San Diego's case rate is at 6.9. That's a tenth of a point away from putting San Diego into the state's most restrictive tier, that color purple. So if we get to seven, we would be in that tier. Our two-week average positivity rate is now at 4.4%. Three new community outbreaks also reported for a total of 23 outbreaks in just the past week. And we are getting word of more coronavirus cases at San Diego State University. This comes as the California State University system says all classes for the upcoming spring semester will be held online. So they're looking ahead into next year even. And News 8's Chris Grow live at SDSU to break down these major developments happening among the CSU system. Good morning, Chris. Hey, good morning, Netta. And while it seems like a very drastic change across the California state system, only about 7% of fall classes, classes were offered in person. But they're making this move now for the spring semester to get ahead of the curve to essentially allow for both professors and students to prepare for what may be a spring unlike any other. Campuses need to be able to publicize and promote the course offering. So they need to do the scheduling now. They get the feedback from students about uh, whether or not they're going to take courses and then they can allocate resources. And of course, this comes at the same time. We've learned that 69 new confirmed or probable cases were announced here at San Diego State University, which means that brings the total to more than 500 since the semester started. Now, some of the precautions that were put into place uh, rather uh, soon included shutting down uh, the campus. So students here that live here on campus, they're currently under lockdown until Monday morning. Then you move over to California State uh, University system. And again, they're moving completely online. For the spring semester, they're making that decision early. It's being called necessary and responsible in order to have that time to prepare, as you heard the spokesperson mention. Now, another big question with all of this is essentially what's going to happen uh, for big events like graduations. Are those uh, going to be kind of uh, kicked to the curb, essentially, or postponed? And according to San Diego State, they plan to know what's going to happen with spring graduations sometime in December. And again, a lot of this isn't exactly uh, being held completely uh, to the stone. Some of this stuff could change, including whether or not they return to classrooms. So with everything under a microscope, obviously a lot of people paying attention to things. A lot of things can change. That's why you need to stay up to date as best you can. So go to CBS8.com. Click on the help button. Look for the story about college uh, campuses and COVID-19. We have a rotating list of information, not just for the California state system, but many colleges across San Diego. Netta, Eric. Chris, thanks for that. The Poway Unified School Board has voted to slowly roll out in-person learning. The gradual rollout will start with elementary schools in three weeks. Three schools and a pilot group will start in-person learning on October 1st and the rest of the elementary schools a week and a half later. But the board hasn't yet decided on a plan for middle and high schools yet. I've been told in the past by the superintendent they're going to wait till a grading period is done, like a semester or trimester. They're all different. They're all different schools. The board also voted to allow small groups like clubs to meet if masks are worn and social distancing measures are in place. By the way, all students with Poway, when they do go back, are going to have to wear masks. We spoke to the school board president earlier this morning, and you can find that interview at CBS8.com. In that interview, they said, Netta, that uh, even if the county goes back into the purple tier, that they would still go forward with their plans for schooling. Okay, yeah, it'll be interesting to take a listen to that one. Let's show you what's happening right now with the Bobcat Fire. This is well to the north of us near Pasadena area and the Angeles National Forest. And Mount Wilson's view showing this time lapse. I want to show you this because that's where a lot of our smoke is coming from. That's what we've been seeing for the past two to three days now. Overhead just looks gray and gloomy and cloudy. It's smoke, but sitting up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You can see how thick that smoke is there, though, across uh, the 
the LA County area. So they are certainly dealing with a lot worse conditions. Here in San Diego, we will continue to see that moderate air quality, but this is the smoke forecast for our state. Let's set this into motion. Keep in mind the green that you see, that would be the smoke. I know that's hard to kind of differentiate, but the green is smoke and you can see it coming through San Diego, but not as thick as it gets brighter. That's actually denser smoke. So certainly through Northern California into Central and LA County, it's a lot thicker than what we are seeing. Air quality forecast in the moderate range for us here today. Uh, we are looking at particulate matter 50 to 100, not necessarily at ground level. A lot of this sitting up at 10,000 feet high again. So it's not dropping low. We're not seeing that raining ash, which is what they're seeing a lot near those fire zones. Their particulate matter 350 to 500. So that's where uh, things are looking a lot calmer here for us. 19% relative humidity in Alpine. It's a lot better and improved along the coastline. That's actually where we're getting that onshore flow morning marine layer and then temperatures inland will be warming through the weekend into the upper 90s. But let's show you what's going on with our traffic. Uh, we are I'm filling in for Jenny here this morning and want to hop over to that and give you a glimpse of what we're dealing with on this Friday morning. It does look pretty clear for most locations. Let's push into this one spot. We're right on the eight westbound east of Taylor Street. There's a car fire on the right shoulder. So of course there'll be crews out there uh, trying to put that out and get a handle of it on the 15 south. Still an obstruction in the center divide right under the 78 bridge and then further up north near the Fallbrook area. White smoke has been seen with a down power line that just off of the 15 at East Live Oak Park Road. And at this point, we're not hearing uh, any other issues surrounding that white smoke that was seen earlier. So this popped up just about uh, 20 minutes or so ago. Eric. All right, Netta, thanks for keeping an eye on that. Still ahead, the nation remembers the lives lost on 9-11, 19 years now since the attacks. Plus, wildfires are burning out of control across the West, one of them now the largest in California history. So I just keep thinking about the flames just eating up my house and everything that we had. Oh, man, we hear from this single mother who lost everything in the Valley Fire.